ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. <sighs> That's some great coffee. So in this video, I'm going to be going over with you guys a great technique to increase your flexibility called PNF stretching. And PNF stands for proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Essentially, we're going to be using reflexes in our body to help increase our stretching and flexibility. And the PNF technique I'm going to be teaching you about is the hold relax technique. Essentially, we're going to be stretching, then contracting our muscle to help relax it, and then stretching it some more. And this works because you have a nerve receptor in your muscle tendons called the Golgi tendon organ. And when your muscles contract, the Golgi tendon organ sends a signal to your muscle to relax it. And we're going to be taking advantage of, uh, advantage of that relaxation signal to help us stretch more. So the muscles I'm going to be teaching you about in this video to start out is, to, is your groin muscles, your adductor muscles. They bring your legs closer to the midline of your body, so they go like this. So we're going to be stretching these muscles using the hold relax PNF technique. So you're going to go into the position I'm in right now, have your feet together like this, arms on your legs like this, and you're going to go into a comfortable stretch. Don't hurt yourself, just go into a comfortable stretch. Hold that stretch for 30 seconds. That's to start, and once you've held for 30 seconds, you're going to contract. So, I said they, when they, these adductors contract, they move your legs like this. So you're going to contract with about a 30% maximal force. So just 30%, it's a slight contraction. Don't injure yourself, don't overdo it. And when you contract in this direction, you're not going to allow your legs to move. Your arms are going to prevent your legs from moving. That's, you're holding the position essentially. So stretch, and now once you've held that for 30 seconds, contract, except don't let your legs move. So hold that, hold that for 10 seconds, just give a 30% maximal contraction. And then you're gonna stretch a little bit further after those 10 seconds. So try to go a little bit further, don't injure yourself. But after that signal's been sent, you should be able to go a little bit further. And then hold that for 30 seconds. And then do the same thing. Contract again 10 seconds, and then go a little bit further. And now let me show you for your chest. So now we're gonna go over PNF stretching for your chest. So you're gonna stand in a doorway like this, Take your arm and place it against one side of the doorway, like this. So go like that, you're going to lean in a little bit so you feel a stretch at your chest. And we know that the main function of our pectoralis major muscle at our chest is doing shoulder horizontal adduction, or bringing your arm across your chest like this. So when we do the PNF contraction for our chest to stretch it, we're going to go in like that with our arm, except the wall is going to be blocking us. So once you've stretched for 30 seconds, just leaning in, now you're going to do that contraction I just told you about. So you're going to contract into the wall, keep it comfortable. You don't want to hurt yourself or anything, don't go hard. Just keep it comfortable, and then after 10 seconds of contracting, you're going to release that contraction and lean in a little bit further, if you can. And you're going to hold that for 30 seconds, and then you're going to contract for another 10, and then stretch for another 30 seconds, and that's PNF stretching for up here on your chest. All right, guys, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. Hopefully, this whole PNF stretching video helped you out. You can do these stretches after you've worked out in the gym. I think it'll help you out a lot. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Awesome coffee.